welcome to Tuesday morning. Tuesday <laughs> That's quite interesting. I've been thinking about time travel recently and about what that actually means in the fourth dimension, space and time. So now I'm back on Tuesday morning, even though it's Thursday morning. So that's quite interesting. So let's start that again. Welcome to this Thursday morning, 16th, 16th of July already. This year, although it's been a complete sort of loss for the majority of people, is still flying by at a massive rate of knots. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're here to do our morning Qigong session. So I'm going to not gibber too much this morning because I can feel that there's rambling and rants going on. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for a dragon ramble later on. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see where that goes. Anyway. Starting off, turning one foot 45 degrees to the corner, sinking down through the leg. And then rest the other foot on the floor and rock your foot back and forth. And then swap to the other side. Take a moment to actually try and become present with your body. So actually be here doing the movement. Now that sounds like a very strange thing, but it's quite possible to be doing something, but be have the mind be somewhere else. Pick up the foot, shake off the ankle. And swap. And pick up the foot circling. Pick up the knee, circling the foot. Back the other way. And swap to the other side. Pick up the knee, circle the foot. Back the other way. And change. Feet together. Circling the knees. Back the other way. up, find your shoulder width. So feet together, turn out your toes, turn up the heels, and circling the hips. Take a moment as you're doing this, just to become more aware of what your body's telling you, how it's feeling. Back the other way. See if you can just get it to open up a little bit. Release off. change, circling the shoulders, nice big circle but gently, don't put force into the movement. And back the other way. So this isn't about feeling the burn, it's not about pushing yourself beyond your limits, it's about feeling good, finding that comfort. And change. So sinking down onto the feet. So the feet spread and soften onto the ground. Almost like melting butter, if you like. And then release the ankles. Again, you're opening the ankle joint up, letting it just expand and become comfortable. We tend to hold ourselves tight, tense, and rigid. So just see if you can find any of those areas of tension. So the Achilles tendon, you've got the bilateral ligament, you've got the calf muscles. All of that, just let that all just expand, release and sink so that the joint can open without being twisted or pulled or pushed. 
and opening up the knee joints. Okay, just allow the knee to move and find that place of comfort. Softening down through the legs, opening the joint, releasing the tendons and across the back of the knee. Let everything expand. Then the hip joints, open up the hips. Become aware of the joint. And then just expand, release, and allow the muscles around the joint just to relax and release and sink. Tailbone tucks under, so it's like it, the tailbone drops. The pelvis levels, but don't push your pelvis forward because that puts tension into the belly and it also closes off the lower back, puts tension into the buttocks. So it's just that midpoint where the tailbone just drops as though you're sitting down. Opening up the lower back, elongating the spine as the shoulders rest comfortably over the hips. Softening the belly, let everything hang out. Pulling the chin back slightly to create the stretch in the spine. And then start to breathe into the belly. Allow yourself to sit back against the spine. Shoulders opening, sinking down. All the bones floating in space, all the muscles release, expand and sink. And the same for the internal organs within the chest cavity, just open up the chest cavity. And let everything, all the, all the soft tissue hang from the ribs and the spine. Sitting back against your spine. We start breathing in, bring the hands up the centre line to the chest, turning the palms over, take the hands up over the head and then breathe out, circling the hands down. Breathing in, and breathe out. Allowing the mind to soften and sink into the belly as the breathing softens and sinks into the belly. aware of whether you're trying to force your breathing or whether you're just allowing it to happen. And just allow the breathing to happen. Let it become smooth, deeper. And you're sitting back against the spine, make sure the tailbone stays dropped. Emptying the neck, softening the muscles down either side of the spine.
from Lord. Breathing in, bring the hands up to the chest. Breathe out, turn the palms, let the hands sink down and come to rest by the sides. And again, make sure your feet are soft. Opening up the ankles. Softening your knees. Softening the pelvis, the hips, sorry. Tucking your tailbone, let the tailbone drop. Pelvis levels. Shoulders resting over the hips. Chin pulled back to create the stretch in the spine. Softening the breathing, allowing it to sink into the belly as best you can. Don't try and force it, just allow it to happen. Softening the mind, let the mind sink down into the belly, like water trickling down into a hole. bones floating in space, muscles release, expand and sink. Breathing in, bring the hands up to the chest, breathe out, left hand turns up, right palm turns down. Breathe in, hands back to the chest. Breathe out, swap over. Keep going. Get yourself sat back against your spine. One more. Breathing in, the hands come back to the chest. Both palms turn to the floor. Breathe out. Let the hands float down and come to rest by the sides. Just checking your alignment, softening the feet again. The ankles. The knees, the hips, let the tailbone drop so you're sitting down on a stool. 
Shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, elongating the spine, releasing all the muscles off down the spine, sitting back against the spine. Chin pulled back gently to open up the neck. And all the bones floating in space, muscles release, expand and sink. Breathing, return to your belly, let the mind sink down to the belly. And then turning the waist, that brings the shoulders round. Doesn't matter which side, because you can alternate. And rotating your movement around your spine. So sit back against the spine, keeping the weight evenly spaced on both feet. And then allow the legs to soften and act like pistons. Shock absorbers if you like, so you're not twisting down through the knee. You're allowing your legs just to take the weight, releasing down through to the feet as you turn. And then really relax the arms and the shoulders. So the turning motion as it starts to speed and build allows the arms to swing round. Allow the momentum to transfer out through the shoulders into the hands down to the fingertips and let the arms start to swing from side to side like a piece of rope and the hands being the weight on the end. So the arms are swinging because the waist is turning. The shoulders are moving because the waist is turning. So keep yourself sat back against the spine rotating round the spine and then let the arms, let the momentum build in the arms. So one, bring, one hand swings in front, the other one swings behind. Really just release the shoulders. Softening all the muscles around the ball joint opening the tendon that runs across the top of the shoulder, softening the upper arms, biceps, triceps, opening the elbows, softening the forearms. Releasing the wrist joints, emptying the hands, softening the fingers. As you turn your attention back to your belly, rotating the waist, rotating around the spine, let the mind sink. Just be aware of whether you're flapping your arms like a bird or whether you're acting more like one of those drum toys with the arms just loosely just swinging like the string with the ball on the end.
should just let the hands come to rest by the side, sinking back down into the feet, softening the feet, softening the ankles, softening the knees, softening the hips, tucking the tailbone under, shoulders resting over the hips, chin pulled back slightly to create a stretch in the spine, all the bones floating in space, muscles, Release, expand, sink. Sitting back against the spine, breathing returns to the belly. Let the mind sink down to the belly. Breathing in, palms to the floor, the hands come forward. Drop the fingertips, raise the arms to shoulder height. Breathing out, drop the elbows, drop the wrists and down. Keep your weight evenly spaced on both feet. Don't lean forward or back. Softening the chest. Tucking the tailbone under. Sitting back against the spine. Shoulders released. One more. And then circling the hands round to the right. The right hand is in front of the face, the left hand continues the circle down until both hands are facing the floor, holding the ball in the centre. Just settling down through your feet, sitting back against the spine, mind connecting with the belly, breathing into the belly. On the out breath, turn the waist to bring the arms around, softening the shoulders, 
on the in-breath, swapping the hands, squaring the hips to bring the hands back to the front. Breathing out, let's come over the other side. Breathe in, swap the hands. So sitting back against the spine, softening the legs, the ankles, the knees, the hips. Tailbone tucking under, dropping down as though you're sitting on a stool. Motion is rotating around the spine. Shoulders stay released, sitting comfortably over the hips. Elbows remain roughly in a fixed point in space and it's the hands that move, pivoting around the elbows as your waist turns. Softening the legs so they can act like shock absorbers or pistons. One more. And then let the lower hand circle up so that both hands are off the chest. Breathing in. Breathe out, let the hands just float down and come to rest by the sides. Closing the hands over the belly. Left hand under right, and then right hand under left, the ladies. Start to breathe into the point, three fingers width below your tummy button and back into the center of your body. That's where your mind wants to go. And then just allow it just to sink down, softening your feet, softening the ankles, softening the knees, softening the hips, Tailbone drops, pelvis levels, shoulders resting over the hips. Chin pulled back slightly to create the stretch in the spine and the neck. 
and just allow all the bones to stand upright. The muscles release, expand and sink. Sitting back against the spine, allow your mind just to sink and trickle down into the belly. And try and force it. And then bring the hands up, softening the shoulders, dropping the elbows, wiggling the fingers at the ends of the arms. Hands down, circling the hands at the ends of the arms. Change, breathing in, coming up onto the toes. Breathe out, make yourself drop. Breathing in, breathe out. Keep going. Last one. And relax. Again, 
thank you so very much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed that experience. If you'd like to leave any comments about your experiences, what you're finding with the Qigong, or if you have any questions, please leave them as well. And if I could ask you to tag, share and like this video so that we can post it around and get it to as many people as possible, that would be fantastic. The only thing left for me to say is I wish you well for the rest of your day and I'll be back 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with more of the same. If you're a white, red or black dragon then there is the Qigong challenge going on at half past nine over in the Dragon Warrior Qigong group and I might see you there. Take care, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.